the original, we've seen the damage he has even without the Sorrow Blade, but they're going in for a big fight. Yeah, and you can see again the slow. This time it's on top of Pawn. That's going to be enough. We do get the shot there from Zeo by the end of it. Here comes the Hellfire on top. And of course, T-Tiger tried to respond there with the Blast Tremor, but too much damage. Maybe just a little bit more. Mixie too far forward. The slows really do stack up nicely. Aloha gets the double as they dive through. Gabe, however, is going to be finding a fight here. Zeo is getting taken down very low, but he gets the kill thanks to Gabe Vizzle jumping in and actually picking that one up. On the original, he steals away to Jones Camp. T-Tiger, he's going to be left for dead. He's going to be sacrificial land velocity. We'll see if they can use that properly. There goes the Hellfire Brew to start things off, and they're looking for this fight. And, you know, again, stacking up those slows, trying to land them all on top of Pond. It's going to be enough. We get another kill here for Zeo. Aloha, however, has to take a step left. Mixi was laying into him, but Velocity pushing forward. That's enough space created in Zeo. Point, but for now, Aloha and Zeo just jumping onto Mixi. And there's no way. Pond slows, speed up, and puppies. I mean, this, this comp is actually really cool if you think about it. On the original, you can see here, just can't get away. They might lose out Aloha. Yep, the silence is going to come through. It's actually going to be the turret shot. Maybe he's stuck around a little bit too long. He's going to use that storm guard. Now Zeo's actually the one paying the price. He was using away that minion mine will give them a little bit more vision in the opponent's jungle, but we could be getting a fight starting up very soon. Yeah, we're moving forward. That's not quite going to be the big slow that we're looking for. Silence on top of Zeo, but the puppies are now out. Everybody's collapsing backwards, trying to get the saw, but it's going to be enough as Zeo does drop. We do get the return there from that fortress, but Adagia puts down the pub, and now it's a 2v1. Fight break out because they have been happening fast and frequently. 18 kills in 17 minutes. Aloha has those puppies ready to go. We don't have the energy from Sea Tigers for his blast tremor, so that's all right. He just got enough. Doesn't matter. He doesn't use it, and apparently uh, that is just going to really big a, big a big throw on this one. Because Sea Tigers he eventually gets enough energy to take down Zeo. All we got to do is wait a little bit longer. Another suppressing could actually seal the deal. Mix is going to be the target. They jump forward. They're looking for him. He actually pops out that reflex. Now Aloha is just a little bit too far deep. He's under a turn on top of it. Silas goes through. This one will connect. And Zeo stunned up. Nowhere to go. Gabe Fizzle with the execute just doesn't make the damage happen. And Mixi will live. He was up to our fortress. You know, when he activates the ultimate and then walks through there, those wolves are going to be taking the damage. But on the original is deleted. Yeah, uh, Zeo might actually get Mixi. They're going to trade it out. Aloha, Godly. Looks like Zeo wants one. Well, he's at least going to get that block out from Mixi, but again, slow's coming down. Pond tightened backwards. There's not going to be T-Tigers in front. Blocked out the silence, though. So doesn't matter. Zeo with that long-range pistol. Able to get the shots, and Mixi not going to find Gabe this In fact, doesn't find uh, really too much out of that. Mixi is done, but so is that Zeo, and now T-Tigers making the run on it, and he's just not going to get too far. Lots of people off guard that way, but... You know, they have the siege tool. Zeo's gonna start off, but he gets the ton. It still doesn't matter. The Hellfire Brew is out, and now the fight is on. Yeah, Gabe Fizzle, he's only found target on top of T-Tigers, and that's not exactly what he wants, but those last few shots, he's going for the execute, does not find it on Mixi, instead gets stunned up by Tigers, and now we got some fountains coming out. Mixi, however, is still going to be the target. He does get dropped by the Zerg, but so have both of the carries here of Velocity. Kapan is in the back, and he does not want to be anywhere near Gabe, but T-Tigers, he does not mind whatsoever. Looking for the execute again, gets it, but I don't see him getting away from T-Tigers at this point, and there it is. That's going to be the ace, and a Bracken to boot. This is now Velocity on the losing end of this best of three. Yeah, they are going to drop this first game here as with this full, nearly full health Kraken and T-Tiger still up and a couple of big ace buff minions. That will be the game. They're not going to respawn in time. Yeah. Zeo's here now as well. He's going to take a big chunk out of the pond then with that slow coming through that crystal. Big damage, oh, 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 oh. but bigger damage coming out of Kinetic. I think 2v3. Death from above won't find Zeo, but the silence goes through there as well. Now we're just trying to just fight. You don't want to be fighting inside that suppressing fire. Here goes that anchor, but it's not enough to catch Pond. It will get some damage soaked up by 3D. He gets one stun into two. Zeo might be too far forward. And yeah, Mixi gets one, gets the second with the Solar Storm. And are they going to be trying to chase down for the big guy? Yeah, he's already now aggroed a little bit more. Pond with the Surrey Strike. Yes, because he tried to itemize into a bunch of different things. He just hasn't been able to finish it. And now they're going to be finding a fight. Yeah, they're trying, but it was, I think that was actually a block right there from the Sweet J. Uh, silence doesn't matter. Saw is going to drop. We saw upon the original fly over the sky and landed those shots. Siren to face. 
I, I would expect it to be a Tyrus Monocle. That's going to be a Flash Tremor. We're silencing all three members. They've only gotten onto Gabe Bizzle, though. On the original, trying to get onto the back lines, onto Aloha. It's a Solar Storm. It cleans out onto that spin and does some solid damage onto Aloha. Hook's going to go through right into the slope. Pixie's going to be coming down low, but Sweet Jay has the fountain, and it doesn't matter. A 900 damage crit at the end of it there from Zeo gets it, and... And Solar Storm is just not going to hit the mark here either. Are we still pushing forward? On the originals landing some damage. We do still have Kraken going up. You can see Pawn, he's trying to feel here for Mixi, but without that Captain and already some of their big damage aces already played. Again, you know, they just go right through it. Here, that one shot hit the hit. No, it hit the Kraken. That's who actually, yeah, that big body got in the way, but it doesn't matter. Zeal's even taking quite a bit of damage, and his mobility is done, but he gets the best of the body block for him. Yeah, Sweet is still in the front. We actually had another block there on top of the silences, but Aloha just can't go toe to toe here with Sky. So, oh, it's oh, almost oh, a oh, snipe oh. on top of Aloha in 12. Gabe Bizzle, whoever is going to be on the chop block, the team left him to die. And the Gabe Bizzle, because when those ults get thrown down, there we go. Yeah, in the cooldown reduction is good for Sweetie to stay up with that Storm Guard as well. The Solar Storm is good. Mixie's keeping damage on top of Gabe Bizzle. Zeal into the back, trying to bring down Sweetie. Don't get it. Pond shoots a backward barrage, and Mixie actually comes into the double kill. They lose out to Catherine, but that point blank here. Let's we'll see if Zeal can make this defense. I don't think so because Pond the original jumps on through, gets the stun and the ace. And that will be the game. That's the series for Hammer's Kinetic. Hammer's Velocity drop this one 0-2. Oh, They'll finish the second split of the summer season with just a single point to their name. And they will now have to fight against one of the challenger teams for a spot.